And today we'll be looking at a QNAP switch. What's special about this one is uh, it has 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet built into it. So let's take a quick look. And you'll see how it's versatile and managed. It can handle both fiber and copper. If you enjoy these videos, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, we're looking for new subscribers. So if you want to encourage us, please subscribe. So let's go ahead and open this. This is a QSW M408-4C. You'll notice the, I'll explain the 4C in a moment. Let's take a quick look at what comes in the box before we actually look at the switch. And you've got a bit of documentation. And of course you've got the power. So the power here has a strange little blue connector that you'll see in a moment. And we've got a, is it written here how many watts it is? It does not actually say it. But let's put that aside and let's take a quick, quick look. So of these new units, this is the one that has the most number of ports. A plastic bag so we can take a quick look at it. Now if you have a lab environment or if you have just one or two servers, this could actually work uh, great in your environment. So this will plug into here like so and can move. The idea is that you can you know, have it to the back or the side and so forth. It's a little more, more versatile. So like most things, I mean, this is not a laptop, so you're not going to find fancy ports on the sides. You're not going to find really anything apart from air vents. So let's take a quick look. It's got a traditional switch. This would be a gigabit switch here with the eight ports. And this is actually more for management. Now, what's interesting is this portion here of the switch. Now, there's a few other models like this. There's some that will come with what looks like traditional gigabit plugs here. These are actually for 10 gigabits, and you've got some with fewer ports. This is, like I said, the maximum number of ports, which is four, so you got four gigabit copper, so referred to as 10G uh, base T. And the other ones here are SFP+. Plus. What that means is you'll be able to pick one or the other port. So in case you wanted to do fiber, then what you would do is you would plug one of these in, and then you would go and get yourself a fiber cable, plug it into here, and on the other side, you would have fiber end to end. So that is 10G fiber in this case. And of course, when you do purchase these, you have to have the same on both ends. So depending on the number of the, uh, the distance, for example, that's how you would select your modules, uh, depending on how far it has to go. What's great with fiber is you can go quite far. So that's the whole point of fiber is if you need it to go across a building, for example, or even across the street, if you've got the ability to uh, dig yourself a ditch and uh, obviously run it through something to the other side. That's the way to do it from building to building. Uh, this is going to be a very versatile, um, we're going to be using it uh, specifically to be able to test various things as we needed some both fiber and copper capability at higher speeds. So this is uh, going to fit right into our little uh, lab here and be able to uh, create more videos for you using VMware and Microsoft server and so forth. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.